Kids presents Kids Night Before Halloween. Written by Stephen L. Lane and pictures by Ard Holt. Twas the day before Halloween, and all through the school, teachers tried to keep control and to not lose their cool. It was no small achievement, for as everyone knows, Halloween tops the list of all-time teacher woes. Kids brought costumes in early and were trying them on just as soon as they saw that the buses were gone. When the opening bell rang, some children went wild. Well-established routines were completely defiled. Four grotesque fifth grade monsters were preparing to dine on two fine first grade boys who'd been tied up with twine. And a second grade teacher showed girls who was king when he broke up their bathroom tiara trade ring. Lindsay Lowe's party cupcakes arrived a day early. And when third graders heard, not today, they grew surly. So upset was sweet Lindsay and her two BFFs that they passed out the treats while Miss Smith graded tests. There was icing on desks, cupcake sprinkles and hair. Soon the wrappers and crumbs could be found everywhere. Fourth grade, at first, was a much calmer sight until Space Rangers started a laser sword fight. By noon hour, the faculty lounge filled with moans as the teachers lamented tomorrow's true groans. There'd be even more costumes and a whole lot more treats. Plus, the mothers with cameras who'd line nearby streets. For the costume parade, a long-standing tradition that had never successfully been decommissioned. Take heart now, cheer up, We've all done this before. The art teacher cried as she burst through the door. Hey, I've got it. What fun. And it won't be that hard. This year, we'll each dress like a big credit card. The kids will love it, she shouted with glee. Now everyone meet me in my art room at three. Tom, you'll be supercharged. Max it for Sue. Miss Huggins, your Frenchies. That's perfect for you. Well, it's better than last year, Mr. Anderson said. Those rocket boots cut blood flow in both of my legs. That afternoon, chaos fueled fears of tomorrow. The teacher's heart filled with great tension and sorrow. Then the principal issued a memo, quite strict. No one takes the day off and you can't Call in sick, Principal Lane. The three o'clock meeting, it came and went, and the truth was the teachers were already spent. They filed out in silence with their butcher block paper and some paints and some markers plus a pattern to taper. The sides of their costumes to fit them just right, and they drove home resolved that they'd give up the fight. No night sleep for teachers had ever moved faster. Their dreams were wild scenes, escalating disaster. Finally, Halloween came as it did each school year, but this time the teachers had nothing to fear. On the playground that morning, a, a sight filled their eyes. Whether trick or treat, it was quite a surprise. All the children looked normal. None had swords or grenades. There was no children dressed like their teachers or aides. Then the parents exclaimed as they rushed out from hiding, Hooray for great teachers! This is just so exciting! The parade had been canceled, for costumes had too. For just this one year, all the treats are for you. You've an extra long lunch and a fine catered meal. This year's Halloween is the teacher's big deal. Wait till you see the dessert. It's a set of tiered cakes, and we've got a masseur in the lounge for your breaks. Several teachers were speechless. 
This was so unexpected. Then the principal cheered, Halloween's been corrected. But the kids sideways glanced and replied, have no fear, though this year's Halloween special. Look out for next year. Plans are well underway and we won't miss a beat. Next year's Halloween will be more trick than treat. <laughs>